I've been on the site since I was five years old and have grown up with um, plants and growing. I then had a, a passion for, for plants from a very early age from seeing my grandfather's uh, greenhouses and having the smell of those glass houses that seemed to stay with me and when I left school I felt that I wanted to go into horticulture. So we moved to Perrywood when I was six but I suppose the earliest memories are of being in the greenhouse, um, the smell of the tomatoes and the geraniums and still when I go in a greenhouse now and smell that it takes me back. My earliest memories are from before we lived here when my grandparents lived here and coming up after school when there was combines on site to, to harvest the fields, basically playing around as a child, as children running around climbing trees, that sort of thing. I really became involved living on site uh, with our young children and there's just so much to learn. It's a lovely industry to be in, lots of opportunity to do lots of different things. Behind me now you can see greenhouses, you can see plants. When we first moved here this was all fields. Um, there would have been fields of potatoes, fields of strawberries, um, and not a lot else. In 86, we were confronted with the hurricane, which destroyed a lot of the old glass houses. My memories of the hurricane were um, hiding in my parents' bedroom as there was breaking glass outside, um, being quite scared that my dad had gone outside to, to um, see what was going on, and seeing all the glass flying around, I was quite worried for him. And then the memories after that of seeing the devastation the next morning, twisted um, greenhouses, broken glass everywhere. I guess we had two options after that. One was to, to pack up and do something else, the other was to, to rebuild and of course we rebuilt and we rebuilt better and bigger and that gave us the opportunity to improve as a company. In the early stages, the products that we were growing and selling in terms of bedding plants, house plants, shrubs, they were not widely available as we know them now. The supermarkets had not joined us selling the type of products that we, we sell and I think that was what how Perrywood was established, the fact that we were offering something which wasn't widely available. We've also seen a tremendous increase in some of the more tender and tropical plants that we've been offering. As people have travelled further afield they come home and they want to bring a, a bit of that country back with them, so they're looking for that type of plant to put in their garden to remember their holidays. Customers have changed in the way they garden and what they expect from their homes and gardens. It's much more about fashion. You know, there's all these kind of different products that just didn't exist years ago, so we've had to expand our different departments and cater for that demand. We've always sold plants. And in the last 10 years, we've really diversified and we're selling the, the garden furniture, the barbecues, the indoor lifestyle and everything else that you might need for, for your garden. The coffee shop was built when I was away at university. It went from uh, part of the car park to uh, a working coffee shop. The coffee shop has grown from seating 60 people to now seating 240. But the thing that hasn't changed is the food is all homemade on the premises. Certainly in the last few years, the coffee shop and building the new shop has seen major changes. I think it's gone from a garden industry to a leisure industry. It's a really lovely place um, and it's, it's getting bigger and bigger but it still keeps that tightness of a family business and um, the, I think it's a good community here. We have a real team spirit and everybody looks out for each other and works together. Our customers always talk about the staff here. They always talk about the fact that our staff have got um, happy smiley faces and they look like they're enjoying what they're doing. Uh, and I think that's the, the, the key to Perrywood. That we actually grow the plants here and then you can see them sell. And I live locally as well and you get to see the plants in people's gardens and that's really a great feeling to see that we've grown that and then they're going on to someone's house and in people's gardens. Over the last 30 years my dad has done an amazing job of working with suppliers to make sure we've got the best plants at the right time of year and that they always are the best quality so that when people take them home um, they thrive and they, they have success with them. We, we try and pass on our passion for plants purely with the choice and selection of plants that we hold in stock. There's a great passion for plants, you know we love plants and we really want to help people to, to love plants as well, to have great gardens but we're always looking for new things to do. The customers like seeing all the little projects that we do. So some of the merchandising, some of the displays, and the innovative ways in which we, we market our goods. We see the future of, of Perrywood 
to carry on changing as it has done in the past 30 years. We are generally driven by our customer demands and over the 30 years that my wife and I have been here we have had to change and diversify as the customers have become more demanding. So I guess in the, in the next 30 years I think the challenges will be as great and hopefully as exciting as they, as they have been uh, over the last 30 years.